delving into deeper into bootstrap studio tool so in this one i want to do a uh, navigation and a few tips on how to do the navigation area of a, a website and we're going to do that getting started guides that's the wrong one go back and we'll go just to blank i'm going to call this menu and we just create this and there we are we'll just get that getting started out of the way i just clicked the wrong button um and what we're going to do here is we're going to use um the search area and this is a, a good little tip you always use the search area um to find out the elements that you want to use so this is your best friend so we just put in nav and we put, we've got the nav nav bar and nav item and what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this over here and there we have uh, the nav bar the menu so we have here as by default as brand first item second item third item and the way you change these is you just edit there and you can have this as your home page come on work it's not working um home page and over here on the right hand side if we look this is where you change the links. So for example, home page uses as index.html. Um, I would all suggest to save these because they have a nasty habit of not saving. So just save this, uh, call it menu. That's where I'm calling mine. And the second item, uh, just really the same. Second, you, you could do something about, uh, I don't know, about us, anything you want and over here on the right hand side again we just put in the link we want for this so we just put in about.html and again i would always suggest just to save that keep all your work saved and your third item pretty much the same thing we'll call this a contact page and this is where your your contact form will be in that and just calling this contact dot html so this is all pretty pretty easy but how what do we do when we need to uh, to add things to this well we can just um keep adding nav items um on, but another way of doing this is a drop down menu because if you wanted you know, a lot of websites obviously have this drop down menus because the the want sub menus and that so we just put drop down or dr there and it comes up as drop down so we're going to just put this in here if you can see that so that goes in there now this is a little bit of a tricky thing so we've got that and over here we'll just put this um as you can see you just go down like that but what we want is to there it has link but the parent is this here the the drop down so we want the drop down and the drop down is when you go here is to um if we say this on the browser so we'll put the preview on here and i'll show you on here the drop down has a first item a second item and a third item sometimes it doesn't show up actually in the bootstrap studio environment but that's where it is so you just go back up to here on the drop down you click that and you see your first item you obviously don't want to be calling something your first item so for example if you you have a cake shop for example so what do you do there you come back over here and you, and you say well what type of cake are you doing and maybe it's a lemon cake lemon cake um so we call on that lemon cake if we go down to the next one again click right click edit and we call this one carrot cake carrot cake and the next one again the right click edit and we're going to call that uh, apple pie apple pie so that's all very well um so on here again we go back to the drop down menu and this is what we want so we've got these and we need to um, also give these a link. 
So we do this by again going to this thing, and this one's lemon cake. So what you would be doing is calling this something like lemon, lemon.html, and so on and so forth. So you'd be doing the same thing for your carrot cake and your apple pie. You drop down, well, you don't really want to be calling that drop down. Uh, you just edit that um, and just, I don't know, different cakes. Uh, cakes. And that would work like so. So just saving that is always a good thing to save, like I said. And here we go in the browser. It looks something like this. So you just knock that up. And then it goes, you've got your lemon cake. And when, um, when it's, I mean, all these are not, not linked to any other page. But what I'm going to do in the, in the near future is to build up this page. I don't know anything about cakes apart from eating them. But uh, I'm going to build up something to do with, with a cake, something that I don't know anything about. One thing I will say on this is, um, is something that's very strange is that it is like you're actually seeing this drop down menu. And you've seen it as well when you when you do the refreshing, you've still seen it. So the way to get out of this is, um, I, I just remember, it's, it's something that, oh yeah. Here, this is very, very important, and it's called expanded. If you just unclick that, okay, and then if we come over again to save, and then what we'll see in the browser is how it's supposed to be. So we've got your brand, I mean, you've got a home page about us, and here's your cakes, and here's your drop-down menu, and your contact. Another thing, if, for example, if you didn't want to see uh, about us, um, and you and you just, you, you, what, what you do here is you just um, go down, and responsive visibility is here. So what, what you could do, see if you, I mean, this is, you want to see your menu, of course you do. But like, this is a demonstration on, on how to change things. Uh, for example, you, you've got a big image, um, but you, you, want, you don't want to use it on mobile because the process is not as good as on, say, laptops. So you would just do this hidden. I'm just going to do this as a demonstration. So what that should do is you won't see about us on the laptop version. And the mobile phone version so what you would be doing here just go in here and remember on what i said you don't see about and that's basically all you do is how how to hide things how to hide your features and, and that is responsible responsive visibility on the bootstrap studio that's how you hear it and when you unclick that everything's visible again but this this doesn't really apply to uh, something like navigation it will apply to maybe it's too many paragraphs or something in uh, it's fine when it's on a computer or a laptop or something like that but it's not fine on mobile phone where you, you just want to get the main thing of your of your website uh, something else I'd like to discuss very briefly is things like um, color for your for your website or and for your your navigation bar here it is you can change that just by themes of course you can do it in your CSS as well. So for example, you, you're not keen on any of the things that Bootstrap itself's done. You go to create style and you go to background color. For example, you want it orange, which is dynamic color and there it is. Comes up on there and there you have it. So anyway, I hope you've found that interesting. Uh, a few little tips there. Always remember your search engine um, on the left hand side is very, very important to you. You don't have to go all the way down with a scroll bar and also of how to do your visibility and um, your accessibility uh, for smart smartphones and the like. And uh, I hope you've uh, found something of interest in this video. So thanks for watching and thanks for listening.